Underdog side that's regained its bite in recent weeks, and a manly knock-on gave the doggies an early chance to bear their teeth. Across and it's marked at the try. I think it's a try for sure. Josh Morris, I think, has scored his first try in something like 13 matches, and he's come up injured. After providing the kick for the opening try, Trent Hodkinson offered up another. This one goes up high. It might be a try for Barber. The replay confirming a clash between Steve Matai and Kieran Foran paved the way for Barber to finish the job. Hodkinson was finding it far too easy to reach the walls of Fortress Brookvale. Pritchard is over. Hodkinson, is he having a game or what is he? Two kicks, two tries, and a little run, a little dummy, and Pritchard runs off him to score. It took a powerful effort from Foran to get the shell-shocked Seagulls on the board. Takes the ball to the filler. There's a try for Manley. George to filler. Shane Hayne points immediately to the spot. But at the halfway mark, it was still the visitors in charge of Brookie, taking a 12-point lead into the Sheds. This was looking ominously like the Bulldogs of 2012, Chris and Inu drawing defenders on the right. Inu got the ball in and uh, Reynolds was there. Reynolds gets it away to Barber. There goes Barber in the scoring second. Well, keep on. Call it whatever you like. Morris points to the spot. But the the big forwards, they just trundle, they trample, they steamroll ahead. And the little blokes, the six and the sevens, they love it. A controversial call gave Manly a sniff when referee Gavin Morris ruled Ben Barber was tackled in goal. Well, the referee has said he's in goal. And from the resulting possession, the Seagulls employed quick hands. Short to Bure, got to ball away. Hobro has scored. Hobro has scored for Manly. There was a freak of a pass in here somewhere. James Graham made his presence felt. Anthony Watmo unable to continue after being well and truly nailed by the Englishman. It wasn't just about the big men, though. Josh Reynolds making a charge. But the on-field ruling was try, and the video referees couldn't find enough evidence to overturn it. Just when the Seagulls looked dead and buried, they found a spark by running it on the last. Which Williams turns it inside, and again from Fordham, Matt High, Jerry Evans, and Daly, Jerry Evans goes over to score for Manley. And after a sustained manly onslaught, Daly Cherry Evans Cherry skipped Evans. around the tiring Bulldogs forwards. Well, but the passage was easy for Cherry Evans. With the clock winding down, Steve Matai set the scene for a grandstand finish. And the manly skipper showed just why his club was so happy to seal a new deal. And take us into Golden Point, and he's got it! The crowd goes up! Manly have come from nowhere! In extra time, the last thing any side wants to do is give away a penalty. When Kieran Foran made his views clear on that decision, all it did was move Hodkinson closer to the posts. And the Bulldogs halfback did the rest. And there it goes. It looks okay. It looks okay. Oh, it's long enough. It's landed in round 13. But uh, Canterbury have won in Golden Point. Canterbury taking out a Brookvale thriller by two points and making it four victories in a row. Melinda Farrell, NRL.com.